Hello everyone, we're here just to the north of London at Vicarage Road. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Watford and they take on Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. And so the initial 11 for Watford. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. The starting lineup then for Queen's Park Rangers. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Thank you, Vicarage Road. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. And they are on the move again. Chalabar, what's he going to do? But it can't get through. And now the delivery. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Now he must favour the cross. Fruitful looking attack. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Stefan Johansson, Barbet, Charlie Austin with it. Have they given him too much space? Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. Well, let's have another view of that goal. nil then will he play it in and cutting inside Adam Massina play towards the back post and the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Chair. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Joao Pedro.
Dini. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. This attack looks highly promising. And the defender takes care of business. Himalayan. Austin. Austin. It looks promising. And a fine tackle. It's a weighted pass. He's in behind the defence here. Can he convert? And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Ball. Well, the attack looks promising. Well, as we can see, Watford certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. Well, that's a well-timed pass. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, 2 1 it is here. What's the goal? Number eight, Tom Cleverly. Ismail Assar. Is it going to end up being productive for them? He's waiting in the middle. This could have possibilities. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique and oh, so close. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, no problems defensively. Ismail Assar. Femenia. And looking towards the back post. Oh, a majestic finish! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient, waiting for the ball to drop, and then volleying with such precision. That is that for the first half here. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on the game. What have you made of his performance late? Yeah, losing a game is bad enough, but he's not helping his team out at all. Lack of movement, lack of imagination, too easily marshaled by the defence. He's not worked the keeper at all. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. 
And now the second half is underway. Ball. Stefan Johansson. He's got the right idea with that pass. The end product just wasn't there. Philipp Zinkernagel. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Chair. Johan Barbe with it. Himalainen. Jeff Cameron. Oh, look at that, Watford enjoying the bulk of possession here. And all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And the keeper did more than enough. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And he's fired over the corner. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, he's lost it. Austin. An important interception. Charlie Austin with it. An effective ball. In with a chance. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. And that's a corner. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Lee. Well, Derek, with some players, you can allow them a little more time and space in the box, but not with this lad. One of the best at exploiting that space. Another goal today is proof of that. Danger here as he runs at them. He succeeds in clearing it. And a substitution in the offing. And unable to keep possession. Chair. And unable to keep the ball. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? With the of the silver with the and danger of still. Well, they survived the attack. Security guard. Thank you. Oh, lovely bit of skill. Dini. Adam Massina. Well, let's see about the cross. A decisive clearance it was. Austin. It's a weighted pass. Takes the shot. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And then he does well to read the flight of the ball, doesn't he? Just cushions it beyond the keeper in the end. And that seems to catch him off guard. Nice finish. 3-2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front. And these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Bright Osai Samuel. Struggling to keep the ball. Space on the flank. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over.
Obviously, it's a tap in, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So the current scoreline, 4-2. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Albert Adoma. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Excellent challenge. Pedro. And the referee blows the whistle. That is the end of the contest. And plenty of reasons for Hornets fans to be cheerful on the back of this league. Well, Derek, when the lead is extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.